Hey everyone, I bet you wonder what I've been doing all this time. I haven't done a video forever and um, I guess I just had nothing to do a video on. I didn't know if I wanted to show what was going on at the beginning of this summer, which was actually pretty bad. Um, a lot of emotional things were going on. It wasn't any fun whatsoever and I won't go into it here. Someday maybe when I sort of uh, assess all of it, I'll be able to actually say what was happening and and uh, maybe put it all into perspective. That said, I had a pretty good um, end of the summer. I've, I've always had this saying that whatever starts off bad ends up good, and that's kind of what had happened uh, just recently. I, I went to Minneapolis, which is not, you know, uh, earth-shattering news. I always seem to do the Minneapolis thing on, on vacation time when I get vacation time. And uh, <clears throat> this time I, I did some recording and did some other fun things, and. I thought I'd show you a little bit of what I did here. Uh, yeah, and hopefully that uh, that good feeling will, will keep on for the, the rest of the summer. And um, I got some interesting things coming up. So, with that in mind, here's a little bit of what I did in the Twin Cities, and, and I hope you like it. I'm getting to the point at my age when I really don't want to drive long distances anymore. I'd rather let someone else do the driving while I eat and sleep. So since flying to Minneapolis is always expensive, I decided to do Amtrak. I love Amtrak actually. It's just due to the recent boom in oil freight, Amtrak ends up being anywhere from 2 to 14 hours late. That can be a pain. But I love eating on the train. You always end up sitting with interesting people and I love the whole train environment. The main reason I came to Minneapolis was to pick up where Chad Wheeling and I left off in recording our next album. As far as our music is concerned, we had it pretty easy when we lived closer to each other. Now these opportunities to record are more rare and more precious. But this trip was not spent just in headphones. There was one other big event that brought me to the Twin Cities. Yep, Sir Paul. I'm joined by my friend Mike Kalise, someone whose love of pop music equals my own and makes the experience all that much better. The seats were not premiere, but they were great for this. So tick that off the bucket list, I was in the same room as a beetle, with 40,000 other folks. And speaking of bucket list worthy events, I had a surprise one early on. Chad plays in the band with Nick Leed, Mike Jeldon and Elliot Hilton, and they were playing at an opening for a St. Paul Saints game. It was superhero day at the game, so there were a fair few people doing cosplay. But then, out of the corner of my eye, I saw this. Instantly, I became an 11-year-old. In front of me was a car I only dreamt of seeing. Although it was a replica, it was in perfect detail, down to the bat phone and the emergency bat turn. What a beautiful car. But according to the owner, not so great to drive. Of course, there was the traditional gallery visits to the Walker Art Center, where amongst other shows I saw Art Expanded 1958 to 1978, which included an homage to John Cage's 12 radios. 
It was actually fun to watch the iPod generation try to figure out the delicate workings of needle on vinyl. I also slipped in a visit to the Minneapolis Institute of Art. A bunch of us got together for record shopping and dinner the night I left. I hope that tradition continues. Marty Hill from Portland. I have this friend named Brent, and he is like offered to buy me as much as I want. Stu Listney, who I hadn't seen in a long time. Mike, of course. And Chad. I look halfway decent for once. You should have like a large belch thing. Of course I got. This shirt. Ruining my moment. <laughs> my last hour in Minneapolis was spent at Union Depot waiting for the train. It's a great building with wonderful art throughout. Once again, it was back to Minot. The week went by way too fast. The train was less crowded and I had two seats to myself. I didn't get any sleep, which is sometimes the case on a train. On my next trip, I'll be flying, but I have one more train trip planned after that.